So, I'm gonna pick up uh, with yesterday. Hope you're ready for this. Not really, but go ahead. All right. Uh, we we're gonna back up a little bit actually, because I was thinking about this. Uh, you some, got food for thought. I had some food for thought, you know, and not not too much, but uh, so with as a kid, uh, who you know, even through high school, whatever, w was there like certain people that you would you know like ever talk to? Like, who were you closest with as far even anybody? I mean, if you had issues, would you talk? Openly with mom and papa, or I mean, mm. is anybody you'd go to? I would tell different people different pe parts. So you, you know, I wouldn't tell give one person the full story. I just you know, one person knew one thing, somebody else knew something else. Okay, so were you, were you like sneaky about it, things? Yeah. Okay. So you, you were all right. I was, you know, I was, I was wondering about that. Um, you know, who I don't know who you confided in or who you. I kept a lot of things inside. Yeah. Um, all right. So did you talk to like your stuffed animals, like I did? Yeah, more or less. <laughs> yeah, I broke everything to them. Did you? Did you? Uh, how come you? How come you kept things inside? Did you feel like? It was just easier. It's easier. Because then people wouldn't look differently yeah. at me Maybe. for thinking the thoughts I was or, yeah. or things I did. I mean, were your thoughts that bad that no, I didn't you know. you're like, <laughs> no, no. Like, uh, I was, you know, killing uh, ants and stuff, burning ants. I'm just kidding. Yeah, burning ants with the magnifying glass. Yeah, with your, your glasses, probably, from yeah. what you were wearing. Um, all right, well, all right, so we, we, we talked about this very, very briefly, um, but I want to talk a little bit more about it because I think it kind of paints a picture of what's, you know, going on. We're, we're going we're gonna to talk about your accident a lot, um, but prior to your accident, uh, there's two things, two things I found interesting. So, what we didn't talk about, you said you had a fun year as far as, uh, I don't know, girls go, yes. maybe uh, partying goes. So, what I didn't know, the you, you lost your virginity at 20? Yep, age we, 20. You guys gave me that information last night after we stopped yeah. recording. Okay, so, what, 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 when you record, I don't know you recorded, that's why. <laughs> so you had, I mean, that, that was basically just a year before your accident. Right. Essentially. Uh, yeah, it, I don't know, it's kind of crazy to think about. Uh, I, I had, I mean, I had playmates, it just didn't go all the way. Okay. You know, we just played around. Yeah, yeah. When you say playmates, I, you make me think like you're rolling with the Playboy Bunnies. <laughs> you, you, you're friends yeah. with you? <laughs> yeah. You're, just, yeah. you're like, hey, uh, come come down to the, the mansion. Yeah, come down to the grotto. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So you weren't hanging with, like, Pamela Anderson or anything? No. Like that. Oh, okay. Um, but, uh... Just girls in our group. Okay. And now, as far as uh, we mentioned briefly, you know, illegal substances... Was this something that you were doing often, or what? You know, what was it that you were into? I well, I drank. Okay. I smoked a little bit of pot, but then I got tired of that from just burning out, getting the munchies and sleeping. So I started doing coke and Wait, crystal yeah. and meth. Oh, uh, crystal. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So they made me do it a lot more in a lot less hours. Wait, what was that? It let me do a lot of things oh. in a short period of time. So what kind of stuff were you doing at this time? My, my, my visions of your hobbies usually revolve around like laying around watching TV. A lot of that. <laughs> a lot of that. Um, seeing when the next party was, you know, what, or what my friends were doing. Yeah. You know, trying to get something going. Was it like a group of you that were doing this stuff, or was it... Yeah. Yeah, so it wasn't like you by yourself, necessarily? No. Oh, okay. And, uh... 
All right, and so you so did you ever feel like like while you were doing these things, did you ever feel like caught up in it or you know uh I mean because crystal's pretty heavy, so is cocaine, you know it. But oh, definitely, I think game was a short high. Yeah, it's a short high, so it's not as much. Last. Yeah. And then, so with the hallucinations and, you know, things like that. So, but, um, I guess I got caught up in it, yeah. Did you ever feel, like, addicted or anything like that, or? No, I never felt addicted. No? No, you know, I could stop at any time. Yeah. And, I mean, I basically did. Did but, you, did, now, uh, did you stop that stuff prior to the accident, or, or kind of with the accident? Kind of with the accident. Okay. Yeah, so when I got in my accident, I went through withdrawals of drinking, drugs, smoking, um, you name it, you know. Yeah. I went through it all at the same time. Yeah, well, it's probably a rough, uh... <laughs> yeah, it was tough. It's a rough time. All right, all right. Then no, you know, I just want to get to that uh, build up because, you know, the accident obviously changed a lot of things. And, oh yeah. You know, who knows, who knows where your path would have taken without the accident. You know. I wouldn't be here today. Yeah, it'd be different. You know. It'd, right. You'd just be different. Um, or maybe yeah, or maybe you just wouldn't be here today. Period. But. Period. Um, okay, so. Do you remember when exactly this accident was? I think it was like the 28th of October, 1988. 88? So yeah. Coming up on, uh, we just 26 had 20, years. 26 years. So that's old I <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Happy anniversary. Yeah. Um, yeah, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks before. So okay, now where? Let's paint the picture of the before it actually happened. I mean, you're you were out drinking. So were you out just hanging out with friends or? I was you... with a girlfriend at one of her friend's house, and she was in the back room getting high. I was at a table with a bunch of people I didn't know, and we were playing a game, and they kept picking me to drink. And I got, you know, in my head I, that she's in the back getting high with all these guys. Okay. So I wanted to leave. Nobody tried stopping me. I don't remember walking to my car. I don't remember driving home. And, but I was like two and a half miles away from my house. And I crashed. So you were so pretty close. Yeah. And oh, so she didn't even notice you left. No, she knew I left. Oh, okay. She knew I was mad. Oh, okay. And but she didn't care. She didn't care. She was getting high. But she didn't. She didn't drive anyways. But but still. did you come with her to the party? Yes. Okay. Um, were were you seeing like we you went with her to the party? Were you guys dating at this time, kind of? I yeah, I guess. Okay. I mean, I wasn't seeing anybody else. Okay. Just her. Yeah, um, and, okay, and so, so, and so everybody was, you didn't know anybody else, there was in Brea, or what city was this? Fontana. Fontana, okay. Two and a half miles from your house. That's where yeah. the crash was. Oh, okay, so yeah. the, the party was in Fontana. Right. It's quite a drive to be yeah. drunk, maybe high. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so you were just, were you just going home, or were you going to go somewhere else? I was else? going home. No, no, yeah, you want to do anything else? No, nope. I mean, it was, I don't know what time it was, but... Yeah. I was done. Now, do you remember the actual crash? No. No? So you can't remember that? No, I just remember, I read the police report a couple of years ago. Okay. And, oh, excuse me, and uh, said that I had, you know, driving behind people, flipping my high beams, trying to pass some, um... Then my car went into the center divider, and then I shot across the freeway, and hit a curb, flew in the air, I flew out the window, car ended up in the ravine, and I was on the side of the freeway. And wow. somebody, somebody called 911, 
and they came out and found me. What what freeway was this? Fifty seven. Was it fifty seven? Over yeah. by what Brea Canyon? Right? In between Brea Canyon and Lambert. Okay, now you're really close. Yeah, I was I was like two and a half three miles from the house. Yeah. Okay, and uh, do you? I mean, do you? I don't know if you've talked to them about it or do you recall uh, how fast Mom and Papa found out about this? That night. That night. Yeah, I heard they called called them when I was in the ER. Okay. And, you know, so they notified them, and uh, they showed up at the hospital, I believe. But I don't remember or know anything about that. At, at this time, was it common for you to, to, like, drink and drive? Yes. So it was... It, and now, I also, not even just common for you, but at this point, in 1988, was uh, the stigmatism there that it is today you know i mean obviously today no, it's it was, more but was it already yeah, there today there's a lot of more guidelines yeah you know back then i don't want to say they they were relaxed uh -huh. but it wasn't as big of a deal okay it wasn't yeah. it wasn't i mean yeah it's, i know it's really big today but right so they they were probably you would just like in the starting stages of probably yes really blowing this stuff up okay and um uh, where, where, oh, where did you go to the yard? Do you know? Uh, went to UCI. So you went straight to UCI? Yes. That, the one in Orange? In Orange, yeah. Huh. I wonder why they, they took you there. Was there not closer hospitals um, at the time? There was, but I think... Did you go by helicopter? No. Um, it was the best trauma center oh, okay. around. Okay. Yeah. I think that's why they took me there instead of instead of St. Jude or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I always thought that was interesting. I, I, I just was under the impression that you transferred to yeah, that. I, uh, I don't even know. They were gonna life flight me out, but they didn't have any landing places. Okay, and so when uh so you go into the hospital that night, early morning, whatever, um how when do you realize when do you wake up from this two months later two months later so they were giving me the wrong insulin and so i was hallucinating and making up stories for the first those two months yes and i didn't know what was going on and they took me off that insulin i snapped back and that was about two months later okay so you were you were you were responsive Pretty quickly, but yes. but the insulin was wrong. Right. It, I just I couldn't tell you what it was. Yeah. Could you know people would come see me and be like, nah, you know, I just didn't remember. Okay. And then, wow, two months is a long time. Huh? Yeah. Now, so when you wake up, do you already uh, when you when you first wake up? I don't know how much you can remember of this, but do you? I mean, you can't feel your legs. <laughs> First thing I thought was, my ding ding doesn't work anymore. <laughs> that, that was the first thing. That's I probably a more uh, honest response. Yeah. I mean, I just you know basically broke my virginity. Yeah. And then it was like, yeah, my ding ding doesn't work anymore. <laughs> yeah. That, I that's you know. That's pretty and I, I was afraid you know because I couldn't feel my legs. Uh huh. And but I felt like tubes. Okay. And I yanked them out. They restrained me. Yeah, you because know, I, I pulled out a feeding tube, IVs, things like that. Now, when you came back, I mean, was it just kind of sudden? You just, you just, you know. Mm, it took a couple of days. Okay. Once they changed the insulin. They changed the insulin, and then you kind of just, yeah, you know, realized what was days. going on, and. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I, I just couldn't imagine waking up and, uh, all right, so yeah, it, it was, so once you calm down, you realize you can't feel anything, it's like, who tells you what's going on? Um, I believe my mom. Okay. Yeah, I believe my mom was in the room, I mean, she's basically spent the night there every night because I couldn't sleep if she wasn't there. Hmm. You know, and then when... She was there, I was pretending like I was at work, 
calling out numbers and you know I was always busy going to parties you know two parties a night but I had to be home or I had to be back at the hospital by nine you know for check-in huh yeah you know, just weird stuff yeah uh, it's, it's funny I've seen something similar but it's it's funny but scary but yeah, yeah. okay um so okay so she she tells you what's going on do you I mean I mean she asked me what happened but I couldn't remember yeah you know. and she told you what happened yeah do you she said I was in a car accident okay you know kind of told me the basics and then I don't know then other people told me things you know they, did they know at this point already that you weren't going to be able to walk again Yes. So that was already... That was already, like, a planned thing. Okay. What what exactly... I, I You know, we kind of skipped that, I guess. What what exactly um, happened? I mean, you know, what... I what, severed my your... spine at the T5 vertebrae right at the chest. Okay. So I was paralyzed from my chest down. Now, I remember the story, and, you know, maybe it's legend and I, it's not even real but uh I, I remember you telling me something about if you had worn your seatbelt it would have been worse yeah because my floorboards got pushed up to my knees so I would have been crushed wow in the car so so it was good that, that I flew out the window that random chance that yeah exactly you, you know damn if you do damn if you don't yeah yeah and that was at the beginning of click it or ticket and all that, you know, but I didn't wear it. And Not that you were sober enough to even probably think right. about it. Okay. Um, so, all right, so then how long are you in the hospital before, you know, now that you're, now that you're awake, do you pretty much go home right away? Five and a half months. That's total? Yeah, I think it was five and a half months I was in there. What are you doing in there? Not a whole lot of anything. Did physical therapy, um, tried healing, you know, because I, I was so damaged. Okay. You know, I, I needed to heal. But for, you know, court ordered child custody, you know, I had to do stuff to buy my time. Oh, so, so there, there, was, there was consequences. Uh, legal consequences for the accident as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously no jail time, but no. Now, um, do they? Oh, totally just lost the train of thought. Uh, oh, so all right. Was did anything else break, or did you cut anything? I mean, well, my spleen. Yeah. Broke. They when they went in, they said I had two, and that's kind of unusual yeah so they took them out both swings yeah because they were damaged um, I like fractured my thumb and that was just minor so they didn't even think about that yeah um, my shoulder blade still had I have like scars and there's dirt still in there so, I mean they'll be there all the time but yeah that's yeah, kind of mess. Wow, that sounds pretty messy. Yeah. Did uh, did while you were in the hospital, did the uh, that girl from the party come and see you? Yeah. She came and oh see yeah, you. her and her two kids. She had kids. She had kids. You're dating a chick with kids. Yep. Did you know she had kids? Yep. Oh. Yeah, it was one of my you know rules that I broke at the time. But, you know, <laughs> it wasn't the kid's fault. Yeah. But, no, they used to come up all the time. And then she broke up with me because she couldn't hold my hand walking down the street. And I said, okay. And she went out with the drug dealer that locked her in their closet for weekends at a time. Wow. I said, hey, you picked better. Yeah. She could have been pulling you. Yeah. <laughs> She could have been willing, uh, grabbing your hand and willing you, but, uh, no. Well, it seems like you picked, uh, you didn't pick much of a winner anyway, so. No. That's okay. 
Alright, so that was that was the last you ever heard about her? Never. Yeah, I went out with her one at a time and just laughed. Uh-huh. That's all I can do is laugh. <laughs> yeah. I just picture you laughing in her face, what are we just Yeah. <laughs> uh alright. Um so you so you when you came home, um what what was the was there like, I don't know, welcome home party or was there anything like that? Yeah. Oh there was? I mean, family came over. Uh huh. We had a barbecue, you know, and uh, that was great, you know. Yeah. It was it, it, good to be out of a hospital. There was actually colors. Yeah. You know, fresh air. You know, it just felt amazing. How were you doing, like, I don't know, mentally or emotionally? I mean, you you're now in a wheelchair. That's that's obviously a huge change. Yes. Was that was that tough on you on your spirits or you know like were you were you down about it? Were you happy that you, were you more happy that you were alive? I mean, what was your your mood? I guess. Um. I mean, I was happy I wasn't dead. Uh huh. Not being able to walk didn't matter to me. Uh huh. Because I did more like after that. Yeah. You know, I mean, all the sports and everything that oh, I yeah, play. Definitely. You know, so that was a good thing. But, I mean, I do wish that I walked. Yeah. I mean, who would? Oh, well, yeah, yeah. But so at that moment, though, you were, for the most part, all right about yeah. the situation. I was fine. Okay. Uh, Besides my ding ding. Yeah. yeah. Uh,. I mean, that, that kind of hit me today, because you mentioned it yesterday, and, you know, I, I kind of breezed, didn't give it too much thought, but then I was thinking about it, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, you basically, like, just got started, and not, you know, you got it taken away from you, and uh, it's, I don't know. It's, I guess it's a typical guy. Yeah, there <laughs> That's true, so, all right, and then, um. So, alright, what about friends? Uh, who was around at this point? Did you have friends suddenly disappear? Or did you I have friends get of, closer? No, I had a lot of friends that, I mean, basically they were just party mm -hmm. people and, you know, they, they went away, but I had a couple close friends okay. that stuck around, we did stuff, and, you know, to this day we're still friends. Were you, were you trying to, um... Like, did you quit drinking when that accident happened, or, I mean, did Yeah, you... I quit. I mean, <coughs> even to this day, I... Well, I, don't, I, I know some stories, I'm just trying to get you to say it. No, know? I stopped, <laughs> but then I started up, and I would have, I had up to three beers, and I'd quit, mm -hmm. and I'd go out to my car, throw the keys on the floorboard, pass out, you know, do whatever, but, um... Then I stopped when I met Deanna. Okay. Yeah, Deanna said. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. You know. Uh, so and you're drinking still a little bit before then. Well, what about what about uh, like smoking or anything like that? What about no, the, none of that. I didn't quit smoking. I stopped drugs. Uh huh. And that, you know I stopped drinking. Okay. You know and now I don't even have any. Yeah. Yeah. Very very rare. Very rare. Well, I guess. Now, definitely no, none. Never. Yeah, now, none. Um, yeah, so, alright, yeah, so I was, you know, what stories have you heard? I, well, I, I seem to remember you hearing maybe from yourself, or, I don't know, that about you drinking post-accident, um, in the beginning. I wouldn't get stupid drunk like I used to. Mm hmm Yeah, you know, prior to the accident. Yeah. And if I did, like I said, I'd go out to my car pass out and just, you know, sleep it off and get up and go home. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, if you're, if you're accustomed to hanging out with your friends and drinking, yeah. it's, it's a change to hang out with your friends and not be drinking. Yeah. You know, um, did, uh, did, were you working at the time of your accident? Yeah, I worked at home base. You are at home base though. Right. Uh, and the job once, you know, did you no. come back to work? Yeah, I went back to work and 
they had a different position for me. Okay. And I did that for a while, and then I changed, and then um, got tired. I quit. <laughs> okay. It was it was when was my mom still working there at the time? Your mom was a short timer. Oh, uh, okay. And then your uncle was working there. Uh, John. John. Yeah, oh, okay. John. All right. He was in the plumbing department. Oh, nice. Yeah. Imagine you could have been a plumber. Yeah, got the butt for it. <laughs> or had the butt. Um. All right. Well, so I, I want to talk about the chair still. Um, we we are gonna fast forward and kind of jump back, but um, because what I remember from you is a lot of like you mentioned the sports and uh, mm -hmm. uh, martial arts and different kinds of stuff like that. I guess martial arts is a sport, but um, for all right, just just when when you started being in the chair, what was what was the hardest thing? I guess I mean you mentioned your ding ding. <laughs> well, besides that, what was the hardest thing for you? I guess. Uh, about being in a chair now? Um, thinking of different ways to do different things. Okay. You know, curbs, stairs, things like that. Were you, um, were you hesitant to try the, those things in the, in the beginning? You know, like, I remember you bumping downstairs and stuff. Uh, was that something you were going for right away? It wasn't something I was looking forward to. Uh-huh. Something I had to do. Yeah. Okay. Um, in, in the beginning, were you in a hospital chair? Were you using a hospital chair for a while? No. So you got that quickie chair pretty quick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you were pushing yourself around the house. Uh -huh. Um, what about the house? It was, was it... I mean, was it always handicap accessible? Well, my dad, he uh, like got a ramp put in, a small ramp put in, and he widened some doors so I can get in things, like the bedroom. Okay. Um, but everything was pretty much standard. Yeah. What, what, uh, was there anything that... I mean, I guess besides reaching something up high, was there anything, was there anything uh, crazy that you were doing for yourself prior, but now you absolutely just can't do it? Now? Uh, not today, not today, but pre-wheelchair, post-wheelchair. Um, the only thing I can do, I mean, walk. Just, yeah. Couldn't run. Okay. You know, that's about it, but I mean... I made up for it, you know, played sports. Okay. Which brought a lot out, you know. Yeah. Now, what, so with the sports, uh, what came first, uh, you know? Where did, where did all this come? Where, where did this start? Um, I was introduced to somebody, and they got me in, or, you know, come on out, see what we're doing. It was wheelchair hockey. Okay. And I went out and tried that, liked it. And stuck with that for a while. I did uh, snow skiing, water skiing, played tennis, racquetball. Um, I was in some of it, it was a, called a blister bowl. It was like flag football type. Okay. Um, what else? I did wall martial arts. Got to be a second degree brown, brown belt. And that was a lot of years ago, though. You don't so Do you remember who introduced you to all this stuff? Yeah, his name was Andy Howden. Was he, he was just a friend of yours? Or yeah, was he, he, in a was wheelchair? Just, he was in a wheelchair. Okay. To somebody that I met. Okay. They were doing a news article on me. How come? Um, single father raising a child. Okay, so I was around at the time. Yeah. Was this that uh, thing for the Channel 3 or something? Yeah, well, I, I remember a video of uh, us playing Sega together. Yeah. Okay. So that so that so that guy got you into. Yeah, he introduced me to to hockey, oh, and wow. snow skiing, and, and things like, that. and they just kind of met other people. Yeah. Yeah, you know, they and they told about things. The the motorcycle that we had that you had yeah. uh, was that after or before? That was after accident. 
Uh, oh yeah, I mean, sorry. After, were, were you already were you doing that first, or were you doing that after you, hockey? Mm. I think it was. I think it was before. Because there's a new. I mean, there was a better cycle that I liked. Oh, uh, yeah. You wanted. Yeah, it was faster. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was before. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so. So at this point, you had already been in it. When you started hockey, you you had already been in a chair for at least like what five years or so. Mm, two. Okay. Maybe three years. Yeah. Mm. How old were you? You were like five, I think. So maybe maybe it was like five years, maybe. Okay. Yeah. And. So Ron Scanlon, you met, mentioned him to me the other day because I posted a picture thinking that he was you on mm. the internet, yeah. <laughs> um, which is not you. Who who, who was he? Um, you know, or how did you meet this guy? He was the first master that I met who did karate from a chair. He got to be like, God, he three black belt in a chair, and I thought that was just incredible. Mm -hmm. You know, he was a badass. You look at him, you'd say, you know, badass. You know? Yeah. And, uh, but he was a nice guy. Uh, and so, at this point when you met him, you weren't driving yourself? No, not at that time, because I needed hand controls. And so we were looking into things. Okay. Um... But you saw you saw him drive. Yeah, he um, had a Irox Z, and you know I wanted a car after that. You know I don't need a van. I need a car. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. So, so at this point, Papa was driving you around, or Mom, yeah. or Deanna, I guess. Was Deanna, no, was, Deanna wasn't around. She wasn't around yet. Oh, okay. Okay, and. What what made you, was there anything specific that, you know, led you to kind of slow down the sports or stop the sports altogether? Mm, a lot of politics in sports. Okay. And just got tired of it. Didn't want to hear it. You know, it's, organization wasn't going that great. You know, it was just too expensive. You know, plus I had you. Mm hmm drag, you know, didn't want to drag you all over the place for that, you know. Yeah. It was so. fun. I had a lot of, a lot of yeah, hockey you, memories. You got ran over a lot. Yeah. Um, all right, then, well, speaking of, uh, speaking of me, let's talk about it. We're going to back up a little bit. So you, from being in the hospital... How long? How long after your accident uh, do you find me, or do you, or what? What's the process of, of uh, that whole situation? What's going on? Well, I had a lawyer, mm -hmm. and they were trying to find out where your mom was at. They found her, served her, went to court, and I was trying for custody. Okay. Not, not full custody at the time because we needed to get a relationship. Yeah. You know, um, I would do. I mean, I wouldn't rip you from your mom. Yeah. Um. So that that took a while. That was like, you were I think a year and a half, two years old. Were Were you? Um, did I meet you prior to the court stuff, or was that after? Did you do the court stuff first? Well, court stuff for drinking and driving. No, no, no like getting custody. Um. I got custody, I got partial custody with visitations. Okay. Then that's, you know, when I met you. Okay, so we met after that. Right. Okay. Have you seen pictures of me or anything at that no. point? No, nothing at all? Nothing. But you had a paternity test done. Right. But she, you... she wouldn't show me pictures. Oh. Uh, you know, she like hid you from me. So. I just, Maybe she was just, you know, trying to protect you because she, she thought I was really ugly or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't uh, know. You were my little bozo redhead. Yeah. 
So the red, uh, I guess, yeah, with the mom having red hair. Yeah. I guess it made sense. No, not that, you know, her mom had red hair too. Yeah, both grandparents. So, so I was about a year and a half years old when, when we met? Yes. Okay. Um, so, now, you know, I, I've talked to, like, uh, different people about this, and, like, especially, like, my friend Joey, um, who recently had a kid, and Julio, my brother-in-law, they, they kind of had this moment where it, they had a kid, but it didn't realize, they didn't, they didn't have, like, uh, that realization that they're a father yet until the baby was actually born, you know? Right. Did, but your situation is a little different because you're, you're also getting custody and you're, right. you know, did you ever have, like, uh, was it, was any of it kind of surreal to you prior, you know? Like cold feet? Not even that's cold feet, but yeah, I'm just kind of, uh... You know, because, you know what, I didn't want to be, like, a dr dead drop dad. Uh-huh. You know, oh, he's not mine, no, I'm not paying, I'm not doing it. I wasn't like that. Yeah. I wanted you. Yeah. I fought for you. Yeah. I thought I can give you a better life. Yeah. Than what you had. Tell you right now, I... <laughs> you know? <laughs> you were right. <laughs> you know, I mean, unless you like Top Ramen. Um, um Top Ramen's all right. Know, share blankets with your three siblings. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, okay, so, you know, I guess my, my question is, uh, was it... Did you have, like, a moment where you, where you, that you can remember anyways that, where you're like, oh, man, like, I'm actually, uh... I'm a dad. I'm actually a dad, not just, like, uh... I have a kid. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I have a kid and responsibilities. Was there anything like, oh, man. No. Things are different. No, because I, I knew what to expect. Okay. You were, you were already kind of prepared. I was prepared. I knew, you know. I mean, I guess with all that time dealing with uh, right. my mom, you know. Yeah. And I'm sure other family members. <laughs> yeah. Um, what a joyous family. Okay, so then, uh, so you said you get custody. What was the, what was the custody situation like? Is it? Um, it was every other weekend, and on Wednesdays. But I mean, that was a couple of years later. Mm -hmm. At first, it was just supervised visits. Okay. So like somebody had to be there to see because you know here I am. Newly in a chair. Yeah. You know, you were a baby. Would I be able to handle it? Yeah. If You know, or get to you if something happened. Was that ever a legitimate concern to you? No. No? You know, you know. No, because all the doorways, there was no no room that I could not get to. Uh-huh. Except for the bathroom. Yeah. You know, I couldn't get into the bathroom. Oh, the, the, yeah. The you know. Small bathroom. You know, I need help doing that. But yeah. But other than that, no. I thought I could do it. Okay. And so, so the business. I know it needed to be done. Yeah. You know how to change diapers? I changed diapers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Yeah. Joyous. Yeah. We're bringing it all around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so then. Then. How does it go from. Uh, me, I don't know, you you having less visitation to suddenly, I, to me it feels like overnight, I was suddenly, I don't remember the moment, but one day I was living with my mom and seeing you a little bit, and then I was living with you full time. Yeah, that was... Did it literally happen overnight? No. Okay. It was, what, like five years down the line? Five or six years down the line? Okay. My fifth birthday. I think. About my fifth birthday? Yep. Yeah. Birthday. And I mean, I guess that would be like an overnight thing, but it happened and she admitted to being on drugs mm -hmm. and addicted and suicidal. suicidal. And, you know, I said, forget it. You know, he's fine. Yeah. I'm not going to put him to that. I'm clean. I'm sober. I, you know, I don't have those thoughts. Yeah. You know, I would never hurt myself. Might hurt somebody else, <laughs> but I would never hurt myself. Uh huh. You know, and um, 
So then I got the, I got custody. So legal custody. Legal and, custody. Okay. I owned you. And you owned me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so then at that point, that's when so I moved in. Uh, um, did I already have my own bedroom at this point? Yes. Oh, so I even you just had a bed, a dresser, TV, books, toys. So I, I had from the beginning. Yeah, you had all that before prior to moving in. Okay, man, I had it. I had it made. You did. I should move back. <laughs> that's all this. That, that's all this whole thing is for. <laughs> yeah. By the way. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. So then, and now somewhere at this point. I'd like to say prior, before, before I moved in full time, uh, you had already started dating Deanna? Yeah. Okay. Uh, two and a half. I was, so I was two and a half. Okay. So, I'm trying to, trying to put, put a timeline here, about 1990, 91, when did you guys start dating? May 91. May 91. All right. Well, when we met. Yep, yeah, and then I... I asked you for permission to marry her. I remember that. Because if you guys didn't get along, it was, you know, it wouldn't work. So that was May 91, You uh, when you we started got, dating. When did you propose? What year? 96? No. 95. 95. 95. So you guys were dating, dating, dating about four years ago. It was months. December 4th of 96. Or of, of ninety five. It's so. So how did you guys meet? Met at the circus. So you she she saw you and thought that clown was cute. She was the bearded lady. I was. <laughs> no, she worked with one of the girls that were in our group, and we went to the circus, and she went with us. Okay, so and that was it. So you just. And that that was. I mean, we met. And was the circus just a fun thing to do? Yep. It was just a fun we thing to do. We were taking you to the circus. <laughs> yeah, I know. We took you. Oh, you know? so I was getting at that, but, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, why else would we go to a circus? Ah, uh, so I was wondering. Uh, okay, so, so you guys go to the circus. Was it like, I mean, so she met you, uh, everybody else, uh, other friends? All my friends, they got practice with you. They learn how to, yeah. Learn how to change diapers. Sweet. How to, you know, babysit, or whatever, you know. They helped out. So, did you, right away, were you guys uh, dating? And from that moment mm -hmm. on, or was it, how, how did, what was the progression? I don't know. It took a couple months, I think. July. So, so wait, wait, how, how did it get from, from uh, hanging out at the circus? To dating. She was just there and she was like in our group. She was part of our group. Okay. That, you know, and, and got to know her. All right. And, uh. I was bored one night. <laughs> yeah. Um, bored one night and didn't have nothing going on. <laughs> um. So, all right. So, you guys. Bow, chicka, bow, bow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so that's that was the turn. Yeah. Um. Uh. So so was she cool with uh, that you had a kid? She didn't mind that. Not at first. I mean, it's, that's a, that's a tough thing. Just like just like your your yeah. scenario. It's that's a rule that we should all kind of have. Don't right. date someone with right. kids. You didn't like it kids. was it was tough. I love kids. It was tough. No, because it's like oh, I, you know. I only saw her, like when I had you every other weekend, mm -hmm. I wouldn't see her. And I told her, you okay. know, when I have you, yeah, my time is with you. You know, you can hang out with us, not a problem. Mm -hmm. But I go, it's for you, you know. And she didn't mind that, you know. But I mean, things changed over the years too. Yeah. I mean, you got you guys got closer. I was gonna say I remember Wednesdays. So I have a vague memory of Wednesdays because uh, those were the days Deanna would bring movies. 
So I don't know why I have a horrible memory, but new I specifically remember Wednesdays and movies. Yep, new movies. Um, so so you know, obviously there were some days that for sure. Yeah. We uh we all hung out. Okay, and uh, were you guys? But you guys, so you guys were a couple, couple official exclusives. That was okay. Um, did she ever have concerns to you about dating somebody in a wheelchair? You know, was that ever, I mean, you got, I'm sure you guys talked about it. Uh, yeah, a little it. bit. You know, and I didn't blame her, you know. Yeah. You know, it's like, I mean, her mom was like, well, you know, he's in a wheelchair. And mm -hmm. she said, yeah, he is. Other than that, you know, I didn't have a problem with it. Yeah. You know, I didn't have a problem with a lot of things. Yeah. But... You know, you know, it's you know, it's understand. It's not, a, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's it, a big step. It's not, it's not a common thing. I mean, you know, for right. anybody. Um, so, um, what about? So we're gonna cover the whole uh, dating scene, and then we're gonna get to your wedding. So uh, let's see. Did you guys? I'm take a break. Did you need a break? Are you, are you getting tired? Yeah, I'm getting tired. I will right, we'll take a break.